since I've made a full video, I've been really busy lately and I've really only been able to keep up with Instagram, but it's about time you guys got an update too. So I'll update you guys on what's been keeping me busy, but first, some skateboarding. I don't want to do that again. And then Luke showed up, and I'm tired, so Luke's gonna get filmed. That Life Skateboards football right there. Mmm. Yeah. Lifeskateboard.com. Keep me working. time for an update on why I've been so busy. So I recently became an ambassador for Skate Park Respect. Skate Park Respect is an international nonprofit with a goal of raising awareness and community involvement in keeping skate parks clean and well maintained worldwide. Skate parks are being built everywhere and to continue that trend we need to work with the cities and municipalities that are paying for those parks to ensure that they still see building and maintaining parks as an investment. So Brian Wilson, an ambassador for Skate Park Respect out of Pensacola, actually got me involved with Skate Park Respect reaching out to me through Instagram. I'll go ahead and throw his Instagram down in the description, but him and Steve Bourne make cleaning skate parks look fun. So we just started picking up trash, sweeping up dirt, and heavily focusing on a local park in Lawrence, Indiana called LP. Now this park has been neglected for a while, but you'll usually find locals packing the place on the evenings because of these amazing lights that they've built. Unfortunately, maintenance of the park fell off when it became impossible to keep up with the vandalism. I think you can guess what the rest of this thing is. A park that's used this much should be one that the locals are proud of, not one that passerbys throw bottles over the fence and racial slurs get painted on the walls. So we decided to start doing something about it. My friend Shell also became an ambassador for Skate Park Respect, and we started taking steps to show Lawrence that we care about this park. There was an erosion issue next to the stairs, and we went ahead and built a small retaining wall to handle that issue. We continued picking up trash, removing dirt and rocks from the park, and unfortunately had to remove a racial slur from the bowl. Would it have been easier just to tag over it? Well, duh. But remember, we have to work with the park board and be able to say, buffing the park isn't working when we approach them with an alternative solution. We made calls, left voicemails and emails, and got Skate Park Initiative put on the next park board agenda. Paul Nanny, a local BMXer, wanted to get approval to do some small repairs, and we also wanted to propose an idea that would establish pride in the park again. A full paint job covering the entire park using local graffiti artists. Went way out of my comfort zone and talk at a park board meeting, but thankfully I had a lot of support and the board was extremely receptive. And they went for it. Thanks to Robert Bentley, a local graffiti artist and muralist, we have 17 artists ready to make this park beautiful. So I actually just sent out an email with the material list for paint and materials to get this done to Eric Martin, the park board director. And we'll see what they have to say about that. And then we'll get the ball rolling on this and hopefully have it done at the beginning of September. In the meantime, Whole nanny's been busy. With the erosion issue handled, we're waiting on some fresh dirt to get this seeded and get some grass going over here. He also patched some holes in the bowl for us. I can't wait to have bigger and better updates for the park and eventually see events here all the time. So that's what's been taking up most of my time. Well, that and skateboarding. Now on a serious note, while my butt's wet, in a reel I posted on Instagram, I said, I was a drunk once too, and if you need help, you can reach out to me if you need it. Now the response from that has been overwhelming and 
Well, it means a lot to me to be able to help people, so I'm really happy to be able to help everybody I can. I wouldn't be around today if it weren't for the kindness of strangers and loved ones, and strangers who eventually became loved ones. So if you do need help with your substance abuse, feel free to reach out to me at Stranger Casper on Instagram. That's the best way to reach me. I'm most responsive on there. Now, as I said, I am very busy lately, so please don't hesitate to reach out, but just have a little bit of patience. I want to give you my full attention while I'm helping you, so I'm going to wait until I can give you my full attention to reply. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this if you enjoyed it. Big thanks to DKL Skateboarding for always hooking me up and always saving my shoes. Thank you, Sam and Life Skateboards, for always keeping me riding and making amazing skateboards. You can get one of your own at lifeskateboard.com. I think I did that the wrong direction. We'll find out when I go to edit this. Thank you, Death Wish Coffee, for keeping me awake. And thank you to Skate Park Respect for everything you do. If you're interested in becoming an ambassador for Skate Park Respect, just go to skateparkrespect.org and find out how. And a special thank you to Quentin Bradford of Superfly Speedball for all the support you've given me, the team, and everyone around you. Roll forever, Q, and rest in peace.